Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Quisha. Y'all, we are here with another edition of LQ Candle Consultant. This is a very special edition for multiple reasons. So today we're here to talk about Amore in Home. The owner of Amore in Home is Tiffany McRae. I'm gonna go ahead and read a few words from Tiffany about the company. Welcome to Amore in Home. My name is Tiffany McRae. I am the creator and owner of Amore in Home, a luxurious home decor company. I started making candles during the spring of 2019. With the support of my family and friends, I did a soft launch through my first business, Amore & Beauty. Speaking of Amore & Beauty, I'm wearing it on my lips today. I'm wearing her lip liner in the shade Brownie, the lip ink in French Toast, and the lip sparkle in Lavish Life. Y'all see it. I received such a positive response and outpour of love. It was only right to launch what is now Amore & Home. Our motto is home, the foundation of love. I hope you enjoy our products just as much as I enjoyed making them. You can also follow my journey on my YouTube channel, Miss Amore In. Yes, y'all, that is right. Tiffany is also a YouTuber. I will list all of her information in the description box down below. Please be sure to support her and show her some love. Y'all know the birds are doing their thing outside, so please disregard that. Let's go ahead and talk about the products that Amore In Home has and, you know, a little bit, maybe a little special announcement, okay? So she just launched her summer candles and she also has some new packaging, y'all. It is gorgeous. I'm gonna put up some footage here on the screen so y'all can see as I'm talking about it. The design is super sleek and luxurious, just like she said. This is definitely a luxury candle brand. I've also had the pleasure of trying some of her other candles. Y'all know a favorite is Bourbon Please. That is a unisex candle I love that candle my fiance loves that candle everyone loves bourbon please so if you don't know where to start i'd say start with bourbon please because it's a winner they're all winners in my opinion but that one is just everybody loves that one so her newest summer scents are summer breeze and sweet peach i'm gonna go ahead and read you the notes of each of those summer breeze is a fresh clean scent with a masculine and feminine blend inspired by the hit summer breeze by the isley brothers our candle is made with an all-natural luxurious coconut soy wax so the notes are the top note is bergamot y'all I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in my last candle video, but I love bergamot. It's just such a fresh, crisp, clean smell. You cannot go wrong with a candle that has bergamot in it. The middle note is lavender and the bottom is cedarwood. Now y'all, baby, baby, this candle is for me, okay? These are all the notes that I love. I love lavender, I love cedarwood, and I love, love, love bergamot. Summer breeze. Why did these birds start going going dumb, going stupid when I started filming. It's like everybody is so quiet and then you hit the, it's like you turn on the, press the record eight. Hey. Y'all, we gonna, we gonna get right past it, okay? Her other summer candle is Sweet Peach. Like the fruit, it has a perfectly peachy scent. The top note is citrus, the middle note is orange blossom, and the bottom note is peach. Come on sweet peach i also have one of her lip smoothies in sweet peach i think y'all are just so pretty i know i keep talking about like her beauty products but i can't help it they just a lot of them go hand in hand with these candles and y'all yeah, love sweet peach so those are two of her newest summer scents she has all the classics as well like i mentioned bourbon please rum punch which is another favorite of mine i also have clean in the older packaging right here it just smells like clean. Clean your house, burn this candle, okay? Sweet memory, turn off the lights, just beautiful. And y'all, I cannot get over the packaging. She's done such a good job. She's definitely elevated her brand. I'm so proud of you, Tiffany. Now, what Tiffany has also done, which was a huge surprise to me, is she reached out to me and told me that she was making a candle for me. Based off of my series, my live series, Makeup and Mimosas, y'all, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe she was actually, she would actually go out of her way to make a candle for me. I, so she told me some of the notes and you know, we talked about them and we actually went on a trip recently and she brought me a sample of the candle. It's like she knew me. Well, clearly she does because if you watch any of my previous candle consultant episodes, I am very honest about what I like and what I don't like in my candles. I'm a very picky candle consumer, purchaser, 
owner, I am very, very picky about what I like and what I don't like in my candles. So on the one hand, I was very nervous to smell this candle because I didn't want to be rude if I didn't like it. On the other hand, it's like, you know, this is going to be something that's representing me and what I like. And it's a part of me and something that's very special to me. So capturing all those things that are very important to me was I felt was going to prove to be very difficult, but clearly not. She's very much professional and she got it right on the first try. So with all that being said, y'all, this is the Makeup and Mimosas candle by Amore and Home. Let me put it up a little close so y'all can get a real good look at it. I'm also gonna put some B-roll on the screen here that I shot earlier of the candle because I've been burning it. It's still, the wax is still hardening up because I've been burning this all day. I've been burning it while I've been doing my makeup and you know. So the notes of the Makeup in Mimosas candle is pineapple. I believe it's pineapple, coconut, and cilantro, but y'all know how I feel about cilantro. I'm very passionate, hater disliker of cilantro so i did talk to her because when she sent me you know like a mock-up and i read the notes i was like cilantro sis oh no baby but she was like listen i promise you it's going to smell fabulous and it does y'all so let me talk about not only the makeup and mimosas candle but all of her candles the throw immaculate it fills up a room but it's not to where it's like knocking you out and you get a headache because it's too powerful or too sweet or anything like that you do not get that with any of her candles she also guarantees a burn time of 68 to 70 hours that's an above average burn time and i do agree these candles burn very slowly i've been burning this one right here for two or three hours it started out up here and it's right here like the burn is the burn is very slow all of the candles also come with her signature bow on them so cute y'all look at how cute and sleek this is i'm not even going to put this in a sleeve because it doesn't need it i love the coloring it's this matte it's a matte peachy color oh, y'all it is so gorgeous it has rose gold it's is so pretty is so cute now another product that she is coming out with which i have not seen from any other candle brand is a refill for your vessel so you don't have to go out and buy a whole nother candle with the vessel just clean out your old vessel and stick this right in there it's it goes right y'all it goes right inside look it fits perfectly in there i didn't open this yet because it's so cute and i don't really want to open it but y'all understand okay it's a refill should i open it to show y'all okay fine i'll open it the packaging is so gorgeous i don't want to open it okay whatever she does all this stuff herself the detail and the care that goes into these packages is it's crazy okay so here is your refill you have extra long wicks you have your two wicks here oh y'all it smells so good the way that i can the best way that I can describe this is you get a very strong hint of the pineapple. So if you like pineapple, you're going to love this. I smell coconut. I don't know what cilantro smells like because I have whatever you call it where when I eat and am around cilantro, I smell soap and dirt, but I do not smell that with this candle. So I don't know. Maybe these are all the good aspects of cilantro because she's nowhere to be found. And this is a big candle. I would put these on par with the size of a Bath and Body Works candle. It is a big, hefty candle. That is just such a smart idea to come up with a candle refill. I mean, genius idea. I've never seen anyone else do that. It's just a way for you to save money and you don't end up with a bunch of, you know, candle vessels everywhere. You have your vessel right here and you just stick it right in there. You know what also is a good idea? If you, I find that a lot of the times a lot of my candles have a little bit of leftover. Of course, it doesn't reach all the way down to the bottom. If you put your refill on top, you can make your own little signature blend. You hear me? She's done it again. <laughs> a few of the things that came in my package, the package came super secure, beautifully wrapped. The Makeup and Mimosas candle came in a beautiful box with a bow. It was gorgeous. Also included in your candle package, you get a, a business card with all of the information for the company on it. You get a candle care card. The candle care card reads, when you first light your candle, burn for two to four hours to establish a full melt pool. That is very important. That's gonna prevent your candle from tunneling. You don't end up with those huge divots in your candle. You have to let it burn evenly across the top to ensure a smooth, even burn. Trim wick to one fourth of an inch with each lighting. Get you a wick trimmer. Burn the candle for a maximum of four hours. Now I can't say, sometimes y'all I'm just enjoying the smell and the 
the vibe. So sometimes my candles do burn for longer than four hours, but I try my best to stick within, you know, the four hour time frame. But sometimes it's just smelling too good, okay? I had to put this one out just so I can do the video because, um, <laughs> playing with fire, all right? Now, if you order a makeup and mimosas candle, not only are you supporting Tiffany's company, which is a small black female owned business, if you buy the makeup and mimosas candle specifically, you are also supporting me. Also, every order comes with a free wax melt sample. So, I mean, come on. I'm also very much a wax melt girl. It also gives you an opportunity to try out some of the other scents that she has. If you didn't pick one up, hopefully you'll get that in a wax sample. I mean, come on. We love a free sample, okay? We love some free stuff. So if you do end up getting the Makeup and Mimosas candle, you get a little note from me, which tells you a little bit about how I came up with Makeup and Mimosas and what it means to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and read that to you now. I created Makeup and Mimosas as a way to talk about makeup and or do my makeup live. If you have been to a Makeup and Mimosas, you know, 80% of the time I do my makeup. The other time I just like to chat and talk about makeup, but the majority of the time I do, do my makeup live, I ask fun questions. A lot of them are very sexual. <laughs> Icebreaker questions, personal questions, people, questions to kind of, you know, get people out of their shell, give you something to do on a Sunday. I do drink mimosas. I I had a little fake one right here, but that was a little fake mimosa because I am not drinking this month, but it's still a good time. Also, what I noticed what she did for me is I don't like orange juice. So if you happen to join me for a makeup and mimosas, you will notice I use pineapple juice, mango juice, some sort of a fruity cocktail juice, but majority of the time it's a pineapple juice. So that is why she used pineapple in this candle. So sweet and so thoughtful. I decided my YouTube live days would be on Sunday and what usually goes down on Sundays, brunch. And what do you usually have at brunch? Mimosas. It's also a fun way to interact with others, include them in the live by cheersing everyone that comes in. I do do that. It usually leads to me being very drunk because every time somebody comes into the live, I cheers, I take a sip, and I ask you, what are you doing that day? That's why I get so tipped and that's why a lot of the times I don't end up doing my damn makeup. I occasionally play games and do random giveaways as well as allow others on the live to come on and join me and have some fun. It's a judgment-free space. I cannot emphasize that enough. It is a judgment-free space. Some of the things that we talk about do not leave that live. I have had to cut out portions I have had to cut out portions of the live because we got a little, it got a little too spicy, okay? Sometimes things are just meant, you had to be there, okay? A lot of the times it's a, you had to be there moment. We get loose and we talk about everything under the sun. That is absolutely true. I talk about everything from TV to um, hot topics, you know, gossip, like I said, sex everything y'all we talk about it all it's the best way to bring two of my favorite things together makeup and mimosas cheers so i want to give a special thank you to tiffany for thinking about me and making this candle for me you have no idea how much you touch my heart by making this candle for me and to be able to capture me and the things that i like in a candle that is crazy so cheers to you you know i don't have anything but you know Cheers to you, girl. Seriously, I really appreciate it. It made me feel so special. Before I start crying, because y'all know me, I'm quick to cry. Before I start crying, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, okay? <laughs> So if you would like to get your hands on a Makeup and Mimosas candle, they are launching this Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So I will put all the information in the description box down below. I'll put the website, Tiffany's Instagram, and her YouTube channel as well. Y'all show her some love. She's really doing her thing with the home decor over on her channel. She has so many good ideas. She is extremely talented and I am so lucky to be able to call her my friend. Also, please be sure to check out her other company, Amor in Beauty, where she has amazing lip products. I'm telling y'all see the lips? Y'all see the lips? She also has one of my favorite red lips, which is Brick House. I will put my review of Amor in Beauty in the card above, as well as the description box down below if you wanna check that out. Trust me y'all, you're not going to regret a thing you buy from Amore and Beauty. It's very much like she says, it is a luxury brand. So keep that in mind. Enjoy the luxury y'all, soak it up, feel luxurious. Have a mimosa, light your candle, 
vibe okay so i hope you enjoyed this episode of lq camera consultant we have another one coming up very soon i have three companies that i'm going to talk about soon so be on the lookout for the next one in the meantime head on over to amore and home and grab you a candle i mean i hope you get the makeup and mimosas one but if you don't please be sure to get one of the other candles they are all so gorgeous and i just know you're gonna love them so with all that being said, if you had a good time, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below, I talk back. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I go live on Sundays for Makeup and Mimosas. I will be live this Sunday, June 27th, with a special guest, maybe, we'll see. You have to catch it, so please be sure to hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload from me and you don't miss that live. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Tiffany, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.